Hey, this is Alan here with How To Videos, and I'm going to turn this channel into more of an art channel instead of just a general um, how to and kind of everywhere <laughs> doing all kinds of subjects. So I've been doing a lot of art lately. I'm a graphic artist by profession. I was, I'm no longer that by profession. I worked in the print industry for a number of years. And I've done digital art for years after I left the print industry. And I kind of got this uh, feeling a while ago that I wanted to put paint on canvas. I wanted to be more of a physical artist than a digital artist. And um, so bought us some supplies and then I really started getting into everything. And as you see before me, I have an art hall that I recently purchased off of Amazon and combined with a bunch of stuff from Michaels and I'm fully getting back into the, the painting and drawing and colored pencils and pastels and all that. And so here's the art hall. And if you stick around for the end of the video, I will show you some of the art that I've been doing. Paintings, colored pencil, I haven't finished any pastels yet, but I'm working on a couple. So. Here's the art hall, and let's just start with the basic. Got a couple pieces of carbon paper, graphite transfer paper to transfer, you know, drawings onto paper, onto my drawing paper. And this, this stuff is ridiculously expensive. Two nine by 12 sheets was like almost $4. How crazy is that? And I've got some spatulas here for doing I'm, my, the kind of art that I'm kind of do, gravitating towards is is um, abstract art, and I've got some spatulas to s spread out the paint. I've been, I've been really doing up some some palette knife stuff that I and I really enjoy that. And there's a an eraser, electric eraser kit that I got, and a pack of needed erasers for my drawing and got a really nice set of colored pencils first i got some some just a regular set of drawing pencils um like i don't know how many are in here um 12 sketching pencils all the way from 6h to 10b super soft and i also got a really nice set of carbo Carbothello, I'm not quite sure how to say it, Carbothello Stabilo Pastel Pencils. And I've tested them out, I've opened them up. Um, people love these. The, the reviews on Amazon are uh, the fantastic from just the bare preliminary studies that I've done. Um, they are extremely color saturated, uh, very nice, much nicer than any set of pastels that I've had before. I was a little concerned when both the pencils and this $80, $85 set of pastels came in, this right here, no padding whatsoever, nothing, nothing. And one of the, re re many of the reviews I've read on Amazon is that the, the pencils come and they're broken. And these aren't broken. I don't know if, I don't wanna lift these up too far because I don't want them to fall out, but they're fine and they're very colorful color rich and I'm very excited about that. So I can't wait to get started with some of those. Then I stopped, those, this is all from Amazon. This is a basically blenders and um, erasers, a blending, um, blending kit with, with a, a, a absolute ton of stones in here to, uh, blenders and I got a sanding board to sharpen them to get the color off a little pencil holder here bunch of stuff and also got um, just went to Michaels and got some colored pencils that, that I found that black Actually, this is not a black. This is the 90% black. They, the black are sold out. And cream, and I have some white that I already have, but I just needed these because that tends to be 
that's I'm cream and white are what I lay down for my base coat um, on black paper when I'm drawing on black paper with colored pencil. And to go along with to go along with all those pencils, I got pencil sharpeners and I got a Prismacolor pencil sharpener specifically designed for colored pencil pencil sharpener it gives me a really sharp point. And I had to, and I bought extra pencil sharpeners because I only did this through one 30 long hour colored pencil marathon. And this this I almost wore this thing out. So it, it doesn't sharp draw sharpen drawing pencils very well. This actually sharpens drawing pencils and Prismacolor pencils very well. And I just got some extras because I like really sharp pencils. That's me. I don't know. I got fixative for for my pastels. This Krylon is a lot cheaper than um, I already had something in my cart at Amazon and it was like thirteen or fourteen dollars for a little can like this. This was about seven or eight dollars. So I haven't used it yet. Seems to have good reviews, but it's significantly cheaper than I don't know than a more name brand stuff. And this is kind of cool. I'm I want to be scaling up drawings and maybe down, but but mostly up scaling up drawings. And so what I got was a proportional scale tool and. I can't get the thing open right now. <laughs> so I got a pair of scissors and I get this puppy open. And I bought a really nice one of these because um, I actually put stuff in my cart and kept it in there for a while and the one that I had in there turned out to not be available. And so I got this one and it looks like a really nice one. I'm, I'm very excited about it. Um, good Lord. I'm trying to get the darn thing open. And it looks like it's coming. Oh, it came in. A, there's a nice leather pouch with it. And it looks to be really nice and I'm excited about using it. Um, so I can transfer like something I find, something I print out, something I do maybe in Photoshop and then um, print it out, but I want to transfer it to drawing paper because I want to paint it or I want to um, draw it in, in, in pastel. Boy, they don't want you to get into this. Good heavens. I just want to open the damn thing. <laughs> Let's just cut the whole damn covering off of it. How about that? Nice leather pouch. Some people have complained and on some of the reviews. I don't know if it was for this one that this leather smells really bad. This just doesn't smell bad. Okay, it doesn't actually appear to be real leather. I'm, um, I'm not sure, I don't think this is real leather. I think it's like a patented leather. But that doesn't matter because this, the, as long as it doesn't, I don't poke a hole in it. This, so I got a nice, I think it's brass. Wasn't cheap. I don't know what I paid for it. Thirty or forty dollars. It wasn't cheap at all. These these tips are sharp. Don't mess with these tips. They are sharper than I'll get out. Okay. Anyway, you got to make sure that everything's lined up correctly. Oh, it's, that's in a locked position. I see. I see what it is. Okay. Anyway, you got to have everything lined up correctly. You measure something from this end. Depending on your scale and where you set this little thing, measure something this in, and then you put it on your drawing like that, and, and it's it's bigger depending on where you put this little scale. So I'm looking forward to using that, and that's going to go in this little pouch here. And just be careful how you use this thing because 
Wow. You could stab the shit out of yourself with this thing. No kidding. Be careful with that. Okay. And then I got various sketchbooks. I've already done some drawing in this. And I got black paper, blue tone paper, so I can use um, white colored pencil to get the highlights and still do graphite drawing. Larger sketchbook. And I also got a really nice easel, and I'll show you that in a minute. And I also got these, uh, a four pack of 20 by 16 by 20. Um, this is linen. This is not the regular cotton canvas. This is linen. And I got these because portrait artists use them. And this four pack is, this is expensive stuff. This four pack, well, to, to com for comparison, at Michael's, the artist loft, canvases sell for 16 by 20 and you get five in a pack and that's like 12 or 13 dollars these you get four in a pack same size and this was 51 dollars so these are significantly more more than 10 dollars a piece like uh 12 dollars and 50 cents a piece 12 more 13 dollars a piece versus the ones that from artist loft and michael's are about three dollars a piece so uh, they're less than three dollars a piece so i'm excited about using these uh, they're, they have a much finer tooth. You can't see it on camera. And they're for doing portraits so you, so you can have a smoother surface. So let's go check out the easel. I'll put that together. I actually put that together in a previous video, so we'll check that out right now. Okay, this is the Meaden easel that I ordered from Amazon in the art hall. And I'm going to attempt to put it together right now. Some people seem to have a little bit of a problem putting it together. It seems like it's uh, quite difficult. It has very high ratings, but pretty consistently what people say is that this um, easel is pretty hard to put together. We shall see. It's one of the things that I ordered in the art hall and I needed it pretty badly because I'm painting, I'm starting to paint larger canvases and I'm painting them on a flat table and that just doesn't work because sometimes I have to walk around the table. And so and this holds uh, canvases up to 50 inches tall and I'll put it together and some people say it takes an hour to put together. I'm getting ready to start here at 7.15 at night and <laughs> we shall see how this goes. Okay, check in later. Okay. There's the easel assembled. It'll hold canvases up to 50 inches tall. It didn't, um, it was a little slightly more difficult than I anticipated. It's, um, the instructions aren't clear. It, there's no words. You kind of look at the pictures and try to figure it out. And I think the biggest difference I had was telling the difference between the left leg and the right leg and you have to get those correct otherwise it won't go together correctly and it took a while to twist everything around and get that situated but 45 minutes most people say it takes an hour it took me 45 minutes uh, mildly frustrating but i've had other things i've put together furniture that's been a lot more frustrating anyway there it is it looks great super good quality um, this was, I think, either 65 or 85, I can't remember. And I got it from Meaden on, on Amazon. And an easel like this in Michaels is easily $175. Very good quality wood, um, nice laminated. You got a, a little tray here for your paints or pastels or whatever you want to put there, pencils. Really good quality. I'm very, very happy with it. Uh, so. On to something else. Oh, and I almost forgot after I cleaned up and had to reposition the camera so you so this video might look a little bit different. I also got a large drawing board and I didn't quite realize how large this drawing board was until I got it. I wanted something large because I used to have a really large heavy duty one inch 
thick drawing board that I would attach to my easel when I, and, and then I'd put pastel paper on it when I would do pastels. For some reason, my wife got that. I don't know what happened um, to that. So I got this, so I got a drawing board and it's 26 by 38 and it's really much larger, I think, than I needed. I, I will use it. I will attach it to my easel um, to do larger pastels, but let me show it to you and um, tell you about it. Yeah, here it comes. This thing is absolutely, I can't even get it all on camera. It's, if I put it up here, it's not gonna, the top of it's gonna be cut off. The top's gonna be cut off. Anyway, 36, 28, or 26 by 38. It's huge, it, and it's, I'm gonna use it, but I'm also gonna need a smaller one that I can take with me when I go places and I do some, some larger sketching or I take it to the beach and draw or, or whatever. So I'm gonna use this much bigger than I thought, but that's kind of, <laughs> sometimes that's, you order stuff and, and that's what happens. Okay, so that's done and let me show you some of my art now.